Okay guys, so an update on the fire. This is not the house. This is another little house that's on the same property. And I'll put that clip of the drone, you can see the roof of it. I'll put that clip of the drone in right now. So that's this place. The other one's kind of directly up through here. Man, he's got like three vans. I did not know that. I thought he only had one, then I see another one. There's another one there. And this is cool. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Big old Cadillac. That's like a little carport. So there's a big old Cadillac sitting in there. But the guy did pass away. So I'll come out of here because I had to come through there to get in here. So I'm going to make my way out of here and I'll read to you what what I found out online. <clears throat> and then I'll be back with you after. I'll tell you what, I got some drone footage today where I really got closer and zoomed in. I'll throw that footage in first and then I'll read to you what we found out. Uh, I can tell you they don't know what caused it. It's under investigation. State Fire Marshal's investigating it, but I can't get a good look at that fin to tell you what year that is. There it is. So, I don't know. Hopefully we can... I don't know, we're thinking about if we can, if they, the family or whatever puts this place up for sale, because that's our property, right, right there's our hut. There's our hut. So, if we can, we'll see about buying this place. I would have to tear these two structures down, because this one, I mean, as you can see, it's just, you can only imagine what the inside looks like. And it's just full of trash. Um, here's some footage of the front. Okay, now I'll put the drone footage in I got right now and then after that clip I'll read to you what I found out.
Okay guys, so I found the article on this. There's a picture of the house from the far side over there. Fire rescue man found dead after fire at home in Inverness. <clears throat> the fire occurred around 6 p.m. at a home on East Live Oak Lane according to Citrus County Fire Rescue. The Florida State Fire Marshal's Office or Marshal's Office are investigating a house fire that left a man dead Tuesday night. Crews responded to the fire around 6 p.m. at a home on East Live Oak Lane. Fire Rescue said in a news release after more units arrived, firefighters reported heavy smoke and conditions inside the 1,000 square foot home with debris blocking pathways, which made moving through the home difficult. I mean, you guys saw the outside? That wasn't from the firefighters. That's what the house always looks like. So I can only imagine. <clears throat> firefighters initially retreated from the home due to high heat and restricted access caused by the ceiling and a lack of air supply, fire rescue said. Okay, so the ceiling, I guess, was tongue and groove. So, you know, I mean, that's just not, you know, like drywall like in here you can just pull down. It's tongue and groove, that's wood, you know, I mean. You gotta actually cut it in and here's the the other fire you know the other fire i i see here okay so that fire there a bonfire to a home next door to the burning structure was discovered as well according to fire rescue the fire was reportedly extinguished before crews continued working on the initial blaze so that clip you seen was them putting that that fire out now it doesn't it doesn't ever tell me if that had anything to do with it or one or the other the fire was under control by 6 15 p.m that's about what time we was filming back there uh but during a secondary search minutes later crews reportedly discovered the man's body in a side room so Okay, uh, a side room. So I don't know if it was the room that was burnt that we just flew over or if it was another room. I'm not sure. Crews remained on scene for several more hours before operations were completed by 1.02 a.m. Wednesday. And that's, yeah, that's about the time I heard them leaving because I kept going out listening and I could hear them over there talking and stuff. At this time, State Fire Marshal's office is leading the investigation into the cause of the fire. Citrus County official said the Citrus County Sheriff's Office is also reportedly handling that investigation. Crews said they are waiting for family members to identify the man found dead. So, then it just talks about the road closure, but there's some of the pictures there. Um, so, but you saw them from the drone. Yeah, so they don't know what caused it. They don't know if it was arson. It's still under investigation. But that car that's back there that we caught the fin on, it's a 1963 Cadillac Coupe, Coupe DeVille. Here's a couple pictures of what that car would have looked like new, only in a different color. Now, as you can see, that one's like a bluish gray back there. So, and I'm not sure. It kind of looked like a four-door, but I'm not sure. I couldn't get up close enough to it. I probably can, but I didn't want to make a lot of noise back in there. But, yeah, we're definitely going to check that car out. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we found out. So, yeah, he, he has passed away in that fire. And uh, I'm not sure what, what caught, what's, you know what caused it or anything like that but if i find out i'll let you know but that's the news i've got right now so uh 
I'll run that clip we shot today one more time. Well, I'll run a little bit of the clip of it on fire, and then I'll show you the clip. I got another clip you guys didn't get to see of that night. I zoomed way in when they were still there. Um, it's a little grainy, but I had to set my drone to 1080p to be able to zoom in. Um, so I'll throw that clip in, and then another I'll show the clip again of today. And then, um, but thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. You know, I don't. So I don't know what's going to happen to the place, um, but we'll keep an eye on it and see if maybe it's something we can obtain. Which we would just make this this all one property then if we could do that. Monkey said I could build a garage back there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. We'll see you in the next one. Sorry, this, you know, this wasn't quite of a fun video, but you know, just kind of keep you posted on what's going on around this this neck of the woods here where we live. So, all right, thanks again, guys. Uh, have a great weekend. Hope everyone had a great Fourth of July, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.